Shepard of a soul, Shepard of a soul, Savior of a soul, Lover of a soul. We are on the Lord's side. Fried rice to everybody. It's not the day the Lord will come 
and share meat pie to everybody. The Lord Jesus Christ is not coming on that day again to come and start turning water to wine for you to drink in your iniquity. The Lord is not coming on that day to come and turn bread to many breads for you to eat. The day of the Lord is coming and is at hand. What is the day come to do? The Zephaniah chapter 1 from verse 14. The great day of the Lord is near. It is, a, it is near and tasted greatly. Even the voice of the day of the Lord, the mighty man shall cry there bitterly. The mighty man that shall cry on that day bitterly. Why? The day, verse 15, that day is a day of wrath. That day is a day that the Lord will pour out his anger upon all the wicked. Remember what our brother said, James chapter 2, verse 10. If you keep one law and break, if you break one law and obey the other laws, you are wicked. That day is coming for you. The day is near. It's a day of wrath, a day of trouble, a day of distress. A day of witness, a day of wasteness and desolation, a day of darkness and gloomness, a day of cloud and thick darkness. Darkness that you can hold in your hands. Darkness you can hold like a pillar. That is the day that is coming. Would you fear now and quickly repent of that one sin that is taking you to hell now? Verse 16, a day of the trumpet and alarm against the first city and against the high tower. Your friends will not save you on that day. No matter how your country is well secure on that day, when that day shall come, my beloved, when that day shall come, the security of your own country is the one that will destroy you. What you thought will be your, your safety will be the one the Lord will use against you on that day. If I were you, I will start repenting now. Your high tower will fall upon you on that day. All the nations now that are fighting against God, I pity them because they think that their armory is well secure. They think their army are well loaded. Yes, that same, that same security will be the one to destroy them on that day. If you don't repent of your sin now, nothing shall save you on that day. No amount of security shall secure any soul that the Lord will meet on earth on that day. Verse 14 of Joy, of, I mean of Zephaniah chapter 1, verse 1, of Zephaniah chapter 1. And I will bring distress upon men that they shall walk like blind men because they have sinned against me. Because they have sinned against the Lord, and their blood shall be poured out as dust. The Lord is speaking here, and that day we surely come. No matter the fast and prayer we do, that day we surely come. What to be fast and pray for is not for that day to come, not to come. It's for us to repent of all our sins. Say so you, you will pour out your blood as dust, and their flesh as dung it will tear their flesh away it's going to be a thunderous day a day that have never been before earth and it that's so that's the day that such a day will never ever come again verse 18 neither their silver nor their gold shall be able to deliver them in the day of the lost wrath but the whole land shall be devoured by the fire of his jealousy for he shall make even a speedy radiance of all them that dwell on the earth. The Bible is talking about the people that will miss rapture. If you miss rapture, everyone on earth will be in trouble. After the children of God have gone, if you remain here, you will face the wrath of God and you will be facing the anger of the devil. When the devil is feeling the heat, the heat from the devil will be touching you. So what do we do? Let us do everything. Let us say everyone on earth shall feel the heat. And I pray will not be among them in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Amen. What is the message? But the day of the Lord will come as a thief in the night. You guys say, I know God so well. Why, if you really know God, God will have tell you when it's coming. I know it so well, but because sometimes you dream some kunye kunye dream, because sometimes he's telling you some things, you are saying, I know him. Even the angels in heaven cannot boast that they know God. Even those people that have been on earth, the Adam and Eve that have been on earth for thousands of thousands cannot boast that they know God. You and I on earth here, you are saying, I know him. You don't know him. I don't know him. We don't know. Even when Christ was on earth here, he never, if I say it now, maybe I'll be lying. He said, he did not even tell me. Maybe now, because Christ had been glorified, he must have told Christ where he would be going. But then, no matter how close they are, this he hid it from everybody. So what do we do? Since we don't know when we will come, let us make every second a holy second in our life. Every minute, every hour, let us do everything possible to make sure we are living in holiness and in righteousness. The day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, in the which the heavens shall pass away with a great noise. Only the noise alone will kill you. If you are found wanting on that day, and the elements shall melt with fervent heat, the heat alone does not come to you. The burning heat over there, it burns the people of earth away. The earth also and the work that are daring shall be burnt up. You will be one of the work in, on the earth that day. If you don't make it now, if you refuse to do what you ought to do now, the Bible says the earth and all the, the same car that made you not to say God now. You say you must fall, you must finish that third flat you are building before you come and say God. The Bible says that third flat. And you and the land, everything shall be burnt up. What will you tell us today? What will you tell us today? You better repent now. The Bible told us in Isaiah chapter 3, from verse 6, this is the message. How oh, yeah. for the day of the Lord is at hand, it shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all have defense, and every man's heart shall melt away. You cannot stand it. I cannot stand it. Come on, little things we are seeing now on Facebook. The heart is failing us already. Because you see my heart is cut off. You see people eating my being, your heart is already failing you. Then that day shall come. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Wow. Wow. It is well. So if you do something about it. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. When that day shall come, I tell you, you will felt away and die away. And you will be burning away. The Bible says in verse 7, Therefore shall all hands be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. That's it. And they shall be afraid. Pride and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that travelleth. They shall be amazed one at another. What are we saying? What is this? And we know we would have followed them on that time. We thought they were only joking. We thought they are. So it is so. Yes, it is so. And before you know it, they are burnt away and burnt into hell. There will not be a portion in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Their faces shall be ashamed. Their faces shall be as flames, brother, and be as flames burning. This is the message. It's not. Behold, the day of the Lord cometh, cruel, burnt with wrath and fierce anger, burnt with wrath 
and fierce anger. The Lord is angry, very, very angry with this very generation. All these things shall come to pass in this our generation. The Lord is gathering the anger from Adam to now. It will join all together against this generation. The Lord says, the blood of the old prophet and the blood they shed this time, they all be gathered together for the payment of the sin of this generation. Go ahead and read it. Behold, the day of the Lord comes, cruel, but with wrath and fierce anger, to lay the land desolate, and he shall destroy the sinners, therefore out of it, in respecting of the sin. But say that it is little, but on that day, bold and sin big, and bold and sin little, it will destroy them all. The destruction is not just he destroyed the person and the person said, he will destroy you and send you into the lake of fire. I pray I will not be a partaker of God's anger and God's wrath on that day in the name of Jesus Christ. As I pray for myself, I pray for you also in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. The Holy Spirit of Lord Comet, Christ, fierce, with, uh, fierce anger to let the Lord the Lord is it, and he shall destroy the sinners, therefore, out of it. What is the message? Let's say, for the, for the stars of heaven and the constellations, therefore, shall not give their light. The sun shall be darkened in its going forth, and the moon shall not cause her light to shine. And I will pour, not I, the Lord, and the Lord will pour the word for the evil. And, and, and we punish the world for their evil, says the Lord, and the wicked for their iniquity. And I will cause the arrogance of the proud to cease, and we lay low the hardness of the terrible, the haughtiness of the terrible. Your pride on that day, you will see how humble you are. You are telling you humble yourself. You are you are doing as if you are the the um, the lion of the tribe of your family. No problem. On that day, you will humble yourself in your humility. The Lord will hit you. If you will humble yourself now, do it now. Now that the anger has been poured out, do it now. If we are flat away, and you remain here, and the Lord pours anger down. Your humility then will not save you. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. When is it going to happen? Uh, but Brother Savior, uh, Apostle Paul says in First Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 1 to 6. But on uh, that time, uh, the season, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. What you should do is just to be serving God foolishly. Serve God as if the next circles will not come. Keep holiness as if you don't have life again in a second. Keep this second holy now. I do tell people, you can be holy. You can be pure. It's, it's just about now. Make yourself holy every second that come. Make your heart pure at that second. Every hour that come, make sure that time you are holy. Guide all, guide yourself well at every second as man that will not see the next second. Live in the fear of the Lord as if that tomorrow will never come again, as if the next minute will never come again, as if the next seconds will never come again. That is the way to live a holy life. Search yourself all the time for yourself. No, only that. The day of the Lord shall come in as a thief in the night. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, all this uh, new world order, you know what we call it, or the uh, one world order. They are gathered they set down to make sure that they are looking for peace. Peace will never come on earth again. For when they shall say, Peace and safety, then sudden destruction come upon them, as shall go upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. There will be no escape route 
for everyone that shall be there on that day. Let us run from this world government now and run to our safety, the government of Christ. This time around, it might be a foolishness. What we are doing now is like foolishness to them. What are these people doing? Connecting here, this kind of they call it nonsense. Nonsense, no problem. No problem. These people are look at them, they are fooling themselves. Eh? Fooling ourselves, we shall know who is a fool on that day. Mm. When they shall say peace and safety, suddenly destruction shall come upon them, and none of them shall escape. If you want to escape, escape now. The flight is about to move now. We are at, at the injury time. We are at, at the 11th hour. Run into the ark now. The ark led Jesus Christ is about to close again. Will you enter now? Will you swallow your pride and humble yourself and come to Jesus now? Verse 4. But ye, brethren, are not in darkness. The message is for you now. That that day shall overtake you as a thief. Ye are all the children of light and the children of the day. We are not the children of night, nor of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep. I do, I do others, but let us watch and be sober. Let us watch and pray. What will be the reason for the day to meet us as is meeting the other people after all the messages we are hearing every morning? After all the messages the Lord has used to preach, I will say because of one thing, no way I will not allow it. What about you? I know you will not also allow it. Why will you allow yourself to go to hell? Because of money? Because of possession, when you have heard that that possession will be bought up on that day, when you have heard that even on that day you will forget the billions you said you had in account, will you still allow money to, to nothing should make you miss heaven? Nothing should make me miss heaven. Nothing should make us miss heaven. We have been told on that day everything will be brought down. Why are we why are we still pursuing what others are pursuing? Why would you slow down and allow Christ to take over? Why are we still living as though we are we will be we are on earth here with these people? We are flying away. Let us take life easy. Take what you are doing easy. Take the issue of money easy. Take the issue of I must build a house easy. Take, I must buy a car. Take it easy because it will be brought down. Do more of prayer. Do more of saving yourself. Do more of making sure you are pure all the time. Take every other thing as if they are nothing. That is how I'm living my life now. When I see cars, I say, oh God, I'm not saying cars is not good, very good for easy life. But don't say I must have it. He doesn't want it. Don't do anything mischievous or evil to get anything. He does not want it. He doesn't want it. Don't say I must build the heart by fire by thunder. That's a fire thunder will, will burn you down. No. Follow Christ. If it's the will of God that you must do that before you die, let it be so. As far as you make him happy, he knows what to do for you. As far as you are living in holiness and righteousness, he will take care of you. Do the least one you can do and allow him to take over the rest. Don't be hasty as the people of the world that don't know what they're doing. Don't put load in your head or your heart. Don't die with heart attack. 
If a child of God that is with heart attack, he don't know what he's doing. Nothing on earth should so touch you that we make them on earth here. We will leave everything on earth here. As Apostle Mano is talking right now, they are burying some people right now. Those people will never fight over what you are fighting for. Hey, I must get this document. It's why we never knew God we were, we were doing all those things. That's a lying, do something to get. Now we know God. God forbid. Our brother is a prayer point this day. People don't understand. Do everything you are doing in the love of God. The Bible says, if you love me, keep my commandments. The way I explain it to myself. Do everything in the fear of God. Do everything to make sure you are obeying the law of the Lord. Whatever you are doing is against God, it's against His love. Brethren, let us not be wasted as the people that don't know God. If you are born again for two days, you have suffered enough to make heaven. If it's just only two days you were born again, or a day, you have done enough to make heaven. None, some of all that have been born again for some time now, we have no reason to go to hell. Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. And I pray that we have mercy upon us in Jesus' name. Amen. There are a lot to say, but no time. No time. I take one more. For the day of the Lord of hosts shall be upon everyone that is proud and lofty. And upon everyone that is lifted up, and he shall be brought low. Isaiah chapter 2, verse 12. Praise Master Jesus. Um, Brethren, uh, on that day, no one shall be able to bear it. This is a message for you. Whatever will make you to be left after the first flight have gone, do everything now to make sure you to take your hand away from it. If we have gone, you remain on earth here. You face Satan, Satan's anger. For you have been, you have been praying ever since against him. Your hair will start on earth here. For you ever say, Oh, Pope Jesus, that that's Satan. I beg you, I lose you. You will say it in his presence here when he shall come. Or at after the rapture. <laughs> so you were the one burning and lose that time. So you did go. You did go. <laughs> after all your drive fast, you did go. Now I want for the next three hours, I want to be buying now losing now. You'll be watching you. If you cannot bind me now and I and I and I fly away, I will bind you. I will be able to bind you. You will sit down on your on your chair. They say I must bear this chair before I serve God. The devil will sit down on that chair. Say now I give you five hours to be binding him. If after five hours I will be able to bind you, and you know you can't bind him on that day, the Holy Ghost has gone away with the rapture. Be careful. Let not marriage make you live miss heaven. Yes, the <laughs> my little boy somewhere. I had to pray, Father, I, I will miss hell in Jesus' name. This is what I know. Father, I want to miss hell. Because I know if I miss hell, I will miss hell. Say, hey! Say to God, small boy. Father, I want to miss hell. I know if I miss hell, I will not miss heaven. Father, did I say, hey? He said, yes. If I miss hell, I will not miss heaven. I, I will just, I will hear it there. If children will know, if they miss her, if they miss one, they will not miss one. You mm -hmm. and I, big men, we don't even know what you are, what you are doing. Mm -hmm. I said, the prayer this boy is praying is not in experiment. Father, help me to miss her. Because if I miss her, I will not miss her. If I miss her, I will not miss her. But you, because of why you do because you want to get that car get that thing you don't know what it takes to miss her 
God help us in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We we'll get home, read Lamentation 2 20 to 22. It's also a message. And Zephaniah 2 verse 3. Please let me go hard and say for me. Let me read, read this one. Zephaniah 2 verse 3. Seek the Lord, all ye meek of the, of the earth, which have wrought his judgment. Seek righteousness. Seek meekness. It may be ye shall be hid in the day of the Lord's anger. Seek righteousness, seek meekness. Amen. So that on that day it may hide you from what Amen. is about to happen. And I pray with mercy we have your eye on that day in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Are you there? You're not born again. You are prepared for that day. No matter you are preparing, you cannot be well prepared enough. You cannot be well prepared enough to go to hell. If you get to hell, all your preparation will be busy alone from 6,000 feet away. All your preparation will die will fade away. Say after me. If you want to accept Christ. Say, Lord Jesus, I have heard your word. You have given me a message. Have mercy upon me. I repent of all my sin because I know you are not a man that will lie, neither the son of man that will repent of his word. I believe surely the day will come. Father, I repent of all my sin today. I run away from the camp of the devil now and I embrace you, Lord Jesus Christ. Wash me clean, purge me from all my, my iniquity. I accept you today, Lord, as my Lord and personal Savior. Take my name away from the book of condemnation and write it in the book of reconciliation, the book of life. Lord Jesus, I receive the power today to go and sin no more. Because I am now born again. All things have passed away and all things have become new. Thank you, Father, for loving me so much and sending this message to me from above. In Jesus' name. Amen. Mm -hmm. If you have confessed this confession, my brother, I pray with you. My sister, I pray with you. Father, I thank you for this message you have brought to us this morning. Father, this message came to every one of us. For these ones who go who never knew you at all, this message has hid their soul and they are run to you now. And I pray you will save God them. I pray your grace will be sufficient for them. I pray that the devil will not trick them back to sin again. I pray they will not be as Lord's wife who was delivered out of uh, from the from fire, but look back and will. And I was torn to the people of salt. Jesus, help them, deliver them. Because no one can run this race without your strength, without your grace. Help us all, Lord God. Give us the grace God, to fear you and to run from every appearance of sin. In Jesus Christ's mighty name. Amen. Amen.